Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Today we are doing another deep clean skincare routine because as you guys can tell, my skin's not looking so hot right now. I pulled like a nice little, uh, I don't even know, rock sediment piece crystallized dirt. I don't know what, but it was a giant ball. He came out of that hole this morning and then literally just five seconds ago, I pulled another one out right there. So uh, my skin's not doing too hot. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a little deep cleaning on it. Hopefully it's gonna feel better and look better. Yikes. I figured since I was very cruel uh, about my review of the August Boxy Charm that I would go ahead and use the two skincare products that I received in that one. I also have the Elemis mask that I received in my July box, and then I have a nice little Cake My Day, which I don't even know if this is gonna do anything, but it looks like sprinkles, so I was just like, I'm gonna do it because I haven't done it, and then I wanna see what it looks like. Um, and then finally, I've got some um, Yes2 uh, cleansing wipes that I just opened. It's a brand new pack. It's the Blueberry Lemon one. Um, it smells delicious, and I really like the way it feels on my skin because it moisturizes because um, they each do something different. So I have all five of these lovely items sitting right here. I'm going to start with the Cure Times Barbie Glitterly Pink Mask. Um, it's peel off mask. I was originally gonna do the Elmas mask first, but because of how bad my skin is and how many like little hidden gems of dirt are just buried beneath the surface, I figured let's go ahead and start off with the peel off mask. Hopefully we'll pull some of that out and then we'll do the Elemis Superfood, Superfood Vital Veggie Mask followed by the Cake My Day and then we'll wipe it all off with the S2 and we will finish it with the Glow Ahead Face Oil from Wander Beauty. So now that I have the system down, we'll go ahead and uh, pull off a little safety tab. And this mask, I, like I said, it is bright pink. It is bright pink. I've seen lots of people uh, do videos and stuff on Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, Boxy's posted a couple things on their Instagram stories as well. So um, I'm kind of excited to see how it, it looks, even though I wasn't very excited to receive it. And I have said before, I don't like using brushes to apply these masks. I know lots of people do, I understand, it makes it easier to spread out, but I just feel like a lot of my product winds up getting absorbed into the brush and I don't want to do that. This is like Barbie's dream mask, so, you know. At least aesthetically, it, it like fits the, the theme. Oh, oh, that fell, but I caught it. I caught it. It's kind of like glitter. Oh, there's glitter in it too. All right, that's pretty neat. And it's like, it's thick with three C's. All right, so glitterly pink mask is applied. Once again, this is what it looks like. I said I was using a lot. I feel like I used a ton, but the weight of the bottle still feels like there's a good at least two masks, maybe more left in this little jar, little tube, whatever you want to call it. So that's actually not too bad. Um, This is, like I said, this is supposed to sit on for, oh, it's 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll probably leave it on closer to 15 minutes. And uh, then we'll do the Elmas mask right back. So it was on for about 20 minutes and it's really really tight but I can already tell just based on like how it's pulling up on my neck I really think this is gonna be an easier mask to peel off which I'm excited for. Um, taking a look at myself in a big mirror without the harsh lighting I could tell exactly how pink this mask is which is very pink. Ow. Oh it still hurts though. I love when I peel off masks, like looking at it and seeing like all the little pore marks and stuff. I'm like, yes, hopefully you did something. It seems like it's pulling out some stuff. Like I can see like little white pores in some of the mask, which is kind of nice. I like, I feel like I've uh, actually accomplished something every time I see that, so. My face still has glitter all over it. Like there's just glitter all over it. So on to the next mask. That is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. Also got this one in my um, BoxyCharm from July. And this one is a nourishing prebiotic green mask. So it is not a peel off. I uh, only really do one peel off per session. Um, I feel like if you do too many at a time, it's going to just wind up irritating your skin because it's a lot of like digging into your pores and then pulling out. So... This one kind of feels like a moisturizer. It's so like, it's very um, cold and 
it doesn't really feel like a mask. I can't explain it. It's like normally a mask. It feels thick. It's almost like a conditioning mask, if you will. All right. So let this bad boy sit in for 10 minutes and then I will be right back. I'll show you guys wiping my face off because I know you guys really want to really see that. Um, and then we will move along to the birthday cake. Okay, so the Elemis Superfood Vi uh, Vital Veggie Mask has sat on my face for now probably about 15 minutes. Like you guys know, I always do it for a little bit longer than necessary. So it's actually kind of absorbed in a little bit. It really, I don't know how to explain it other than it does, it legitimately feels like um, conditioner. Like it feels like face con or, uh, hair conditioner on your face, um, which is not a bad thing. When you think about what conditioners in there doing, it's, you know, trying to make your hair feel softer and more nutrient healthy. So if this was what this is doing, then I guess that's a very good thing. It just is a very weird feeling. It still kind of feels like there's a conditioner on my skin, but I do believe I've gotten everything off at this point. All right, moving right along to the next mask. This is the little birthday cake mask. It is called Cake My Day. It is from I Do Care, spelled D-E-W Care, and it is a hydrating sprinkle wash-off mask. So when you open it up, it literally has little sprinkles in there. I guess if I had, if I had to guess, um, I'm, it smells really good. It smells like vanilla. Um, but I would assume that these are meant to be like exfoliating crystals and they're just very colory and pretty. I didn't, I said I was so proud of myself and I was like, I read all, I didn't read this mask. I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave this mask on for. So I'm thinking it's like 10 or 15 minutes, five to 10 minutes, cool. So I will probably leave this on the better side of 10, closer to 15 minutes because that's what I typically do. And then I will wash it off and I will come back and I will do my little yes to face wipe and I'll do my little Wander Beauty, um, uh, glow oil and then uh, we'll see how my skin looks if it looks any healthier hopefully it does because it can't look much worse so we'll be right back this is set on for roughly 10 minutes um it's absorbing in starting to um kind of disappear along my chin line especially you can still kind of see the little sprinkle stuff on my forehead so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off i think it's done its job um this one, I feel like probably was a little redundant after having done that vital, uh, the veggie vital mask because um, it kind of just accentuated that really moisturized feeling. It's not a bad thing. I just won't ever use them together again. I think it was like, like I said, redundant. I don't think it was necessary, but um, still a really cute, really nice feeling mask. It was not overly thick, which is like the, veg the, the vital veggie mask was very, very thick. That was not a particularly thick one, so it didn't make me feel like I had like a lot of heaviness on my face, which I kind of, I kind of digged. My skin looks so much better though. It's kind of phenomenal actually. So finally I'm going to take this Yes 2 wipe. The, um, this is what it looks like. I don't think I showed you guys earlier. This is the blueberry one. I think I've showed you the tomato and the cucumber one before. And I've also used the charcoal one, which I really, really like. I just really like their face wipes. They're pretty much the only ones I'm going to use from here on out because they just work so well. And they're not very expensive even when they're full priced. But they always go on sale at Ulta. So that makes it even more of an incentive to go ahead and purchase. Um, but the blueberry one is for recharging stressed skin, which let's be honest, that's exactly what my skin is. Always stressed. I really do want to point out like obviously there's still a hole there there's still a hole there but this area just looks a, a monumentally better from when we started off because it was really rough I am going to pat dry my face just because I want it to be relatively dry when I add the final product we are going to do today which is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. This was also in the August Boxy Charm, and I um, complained about it because I'm sick of getting face stuff and no makeup. <gasps> oh, it's cute. It's like pink. I didn't know that. I'm really going to try and work it in so that way we can see what it looks like after it's absorbed into my skin. Yeah, I'm overall very satisfied with the um, the change in my skin as it has evolved from where we started to now. Um, I really feel like after this kind of soaks in and spends about five minutes just breathing without a mask on, it's going to look a ton better. There is still a little bit of redness. There is still bumps, obviously. It's not a miracle worker. None of these masks can fully fix my face. 
I really do like all the masks. I would say if I had to pick my favorite, it probably would be the Pure Times Barbie mask just because it did a really good job of actually peeling off. I really felt like it got into my pores and removed all of the gunk in there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our, plate, our page, please click the subscribe button. Um, we are really, really close to hitting 100 subs um, as we're filming this today. I don't know where it'll be when we are um, uploading the video, but as we're filming it today, we are at 57 subs. That's amazing. We're on the top side of, of 50, close to 100. Very excited about that. Please, please, please subscribe. Encourage your friends to subscribe. And um, make sure you are constantly following our videos. You hit that notification bell so that you see every time we upload because when we do the giveaway announcement, I want to make sure you guys know what to do to enter. As always, I love you all very much and I hope you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.